guess. Let's quickly revise the first chapter accounting for right shares and bonus shares with the help of our chart book. First, bonus shares means additional shares or additional equity shares given to existing shareholders at free of cost. Bonus shares is also known as capitalization of profits. Then right shares means what? Right shares means again additional equity shares given to existing shareholders but this time at a discount but this is not discount with respect to face value this is a discount when compared to the market value of the share that is the meaning of all this okay then types of bonus uh, on partly paid up shares can you give bonus shares no first you need to convert there are two options available either you can convert it or make the final call and receive the final call if you are converting then the journal or uh, if you are converting then which reserve can you utilize for conversion only the free reserves free reserve generally we see in our problems are general reserve and pnl okay so the journal entry for that is first general reserve or pnl account debit to bonus to shareholders account then equity share final call account debit to equity share capital two dummy accounts we need to close one is equity share final call and another one is bonus to shareholders so the entry will be bonus to shareholders account debit to equity share final call account that's the entry for conversion if you are doing a normal bonus issue on fully paid up shares the entry will be crr account debit sp account debit general reserve or pnl account debit if required to bonus to shareholders account in the narration you need to write this that it is a board resolution number dot 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 dated dot 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 second entry is bonus to shareholders account debit to equity share capital all right then if it is a listed company then one thing gets triggered with respect to securities premium you need to check whether that security premium is realized in cash or not if it is a listed company then you can use security premium to give bonus shares provided if it is only realized in cash and this is as per not as per companies act but as per the sebi regulations so if it is unlisted company whether security premium is realized in cash or not realized in cash both can be utilized okay next can you give uh, bonus shares to partly convertible uh, debenture uh, convertible debenture holders whether it is partly convertible or fully convertible does not does not matter convertible debenture holders will they get bonus shares yes does the conversion date and uh, bonus date they have to be same or no dates can be anything okay dates are irrelevant is it okay but when will they get bonus shares they will get their bonus shares only when they when their debentures get converted into equity shares okay and uh, whenever you issue bonus shares in balance sheet no you need to keep in mind something about authorized share capital what do you need to keep in mind authorized share capital should never come below paid up equity capital if due to bonus shares if authorized capital is below the paid up capital then two options are permissible one is to find out how many bonus shares value of bonus shares given add that to add that to the authorized capital that is one option or make what the paid up capital and authorized capital to be same we have followed this option making paid up capital authorized capital same option in all our problems because that is lot less time consuming lot less time consuming okay then we discussed about right shares so is there any fancy entry for right shares no normal entry bank account debit to equity share capital to securities premium if the shares are issued at premium okay then we also found out something known as value of the right value of the right is given by a formula that is come right price of the share minus x right price of the share come right price of the share means value of the share before the rights issue x right price of the share is given by a small formula that is come right value of the existing shares plus value of the right shares divided by number of original shares plus the number of right shares so value of the right is nothing but these two ka minus okay so that's all with respect to the first chapter accounting for bonus shares and right shares thank you